It's checkmate, buddy. You don't play any more card. Okay. You play more card, I see. Bye bye. You play more card. I see. Bye bye. Wait. Oh, look at this dude. Playing around boiling oil. Wait, they have boiling oil. They actually have boiling oil. Oh my god. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> um, you look kind of not alive, dude. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but... One liter charge. Two liter charge. Three liter charge. Three liter charge. Three liter charge. Three liter charge. Yay! Clap, clap. They're down a card and they don't have liter. Pog. Oh. Mutai generator value, guys. Wow. Pog. Um. Whoa. Okay. Highlight. Dude, I, I figured it out. Okay. We can't, we're gonna kill the Saskia, but we don't care. Look at this. Hey. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Crushing for our value. <laughs> Crushing for our value. Oh, <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. All right, how's it going, guys? Vicky the Coach here, and I am back with another banger list. Today, we're gonna play a movement Shiru deck. Okay, we're playing a Shiru deck. As you know, probably if you're playing on the pro letter right now, the deck is swarming with elves right now. There are a lot of elves deck right now on ladder, and what a better time than play Shiru. Shiru um, destroy all other units with power equal to Shiru. So it starts at 3 base power. You know what that means, right? All the Elven Dead Eyes just gonna be dead. Dead. Destroyed. All of them. All the board. I'm very... I'm looking forward to finding some, you know, Elf games and then just slam Shiru. Oh, dude, it's gonna be really fun. But yeah, uh, I believe Shiru got reworked so that it doesn't destroy itself anymore. Um, might be relevant, we'll see. Like, it's kind of like a good finisher because you don't really need to, you know, even if you have lost a Shiro, right? And then you destroy all of opponent's units, um, you get the value of um, destroying them. And you still have three points left on your board, which is very nice. And yeah, um, aside Shiro, we're running the Saskia Commander. Um, this card is just really good value right now. Even if we're running some, you know, anti-synergistic card with her, such as Cat with your Saboteur, um, even when we're not getting the deploy effect from this card, I think it's still a pretty good um, card because it thins the card out of your deck and it brings tempo to the board. So, running that, and since we're running a movement package, I think um, just you know all this combo. I think I think it's you know it, it leads up to something great, right? We're playing Saber's Tooth Tiger. So that the opponent wants to row stack, right? And then when they row stack, we just crush them with crushing trap. And <coughs> I believe the Cyber Tooth Trigger kind of synergizes really well with Cat Witcher Mentor. It's basically like two points per turn. Um, you flip the cat, uh, you flip the Cyber Tooth Tiger, they get a point. And when you deploy them on board, they also get the point from the Cyber Tooth Tiger. So yeah, I think. Every time you flip the Saber Tooth Tiger, you're getting more uh, some value for the Cat Witcher Mentor. I think it's really good. And yeah, overall, just I think this is a pretty solid list. Um, this looks on like on paper, on theory, this looks very very strong. I don't know how strong this will be, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Like Crushing Trap and this uh, like in two days later, who plays this anymore, right? We're playing Crushing Trap and Shiru. And even if we're not up against something like Elves, we could still play Shiru, um, just like boost it with our leader ability, it goes to 5, and then destroy all other 5 powered units. Or even destroy all other 7 powered units. Very insane, very cool. And yeah, 
Dude, this deck looks really strong. I don't know. I'm really excited to try this one out. This looks really solid. That's, that's what I was to say. Like, we have Toll Punish. We have Row Punish. Tons of Row Punish. Um, we could even set our Zero Power with Crushing Trap. So, for example, we'll play Crushing Trap. Um, and then suddenly the opponent played um, Ice and Grim. And then it boosts all the other units, all the other elves to four. And then we play Shiru. We move the Shiru. Use Crushing Trap on our Row. So that it damages Shiru by one. And then it could destroy all the four power tokens. Very, very cool. Very nice running Crystal School to protect our engines. Very simple. And the main thing here is that we don't really have any... Um, a lot of tags with our bronze, so we might want to be careful when we play our Saskia. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the deck introduction. I'm really excited to play this. This looks really, really solid. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so first match of the day. Um, we're up now. against Tactical Decision Elf Guard. Not an elf deck, but sure. Oh, partner. Partner versus partner. Is this actually like the Sunny Casual Gamer? What are the odds? No way, right? Partner versus partner. Uh, are they going to play Mel? We're gonna be sad if they played well. So, um, we have Saskia Commander here, which is really good. Oh, this hand is really solid. Wow, this hand is um, this might be like the best hand. We kind of miss like Oni Romancy, but missing Oni Romancy, I think we're fine. Oh, this hand is really good. Um, we can Mulligan the Cat Witcher Mentor away. Yeah, this hand is this hand looks really good. <clears throat> I mean, we're gonna try and contest this round, right? Like, look at this hand. They just jammed this Melva right here. Nothing broken. Can have to go again. <laughs> That's not good. Um, That's not ideal. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna play this. <clears throat> Into the Cat Witcher Saboteur. We could also play the Stegas Castle. I don't really mind that. Hopefully we got the um, Cat Witcher out. I mean, we can't, right? So we're only getting Doblathana or Pyrotechnician. Oh! They're giving us a Witcher tag. But that's very good for us. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna play this first because I want to see what we're getting, right? This should be enough. This is enough. Cool. Get this. Ooh, look at that value. Oh my goodness. Crashing trap in this day and age. Yo, we're kind of winning on even. What is this? Imperial Golem? Oh, this might be... Oh, it's Siri Nova. <clears throat> okay. Um, we can play the Gigni now. I think that's kind of like a bad idea. Um, they're getting 12 points here. 19 with initiative this i need 35 um i can't hit the golem hmm so what am i getting next it's witcher or dwarves I should have placed it here. Oops, I missed the point. <gasps> okay. <clears throat> I think I'm completely fine with um, giving them Gigni. I think I'm completely fine with playing my Gigni now. Like, are we fine or are we not fine? I think I'm fine. Because I can just Mork. Um, I feel like I want to go to a long round. If I smork, they have Siri Nova advantage. I 
This is quite hard. Play my Gigi though. That's the thing, right? Wait, are they gonna use their leader? Leader? Look at their leader out. Wow. Okay. Respectable. So we can get a Gigni value right now. Gigni plays for 16 plus 12. That's 28. 28. I mean, I think we should be fine going to a long round. So we traded leader ability. There is Serena attack. They don't have Rinse. I think we're fine passing here. Yeah, 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 we're good. We're good. And they didn't thin the uh, Mage Assassin. I think we might be good. Like, we still have two Cat Witcher in our deck. Two Cat Witcher and one... Um... Mentor. From this. We should be good. Don't want you. Um, Shira could be good. I don't know how good she, uh, will, um, Shira is gonna be. I think I'm gonna kick you. That's really bad. Order will triumph. It must triumph. Play this melee. Go the Necker list. A wee hint, Danny Jiggleless. Sixteen, sixteen. Um, I guess they're planning to two. Eight. Eight. Hmm. I guess we can kind of do this. Let's do this. Make him think like we're playing um, just for the crushing trap value. But we have a Gigni. Alright. And don't worry, this is a crushing trap, okay? Don't worry. This is a crushing trap. You're fine. This is crushing trap, okay? Okay? It's crushing trap, right? Yes. Thank you. Alright, so they still have Wasse, but we still have like a giant, like, dude, they have one card left in their deck, and they didn't thin the one mage assassin, that means they're gonna play it from their hand, right? Right? Okay, how good is Hero then? Um, one Imperial Diplomacy, man, I'm not a Shiro believer, I'm just gonna play you. I'm just gonna play that guy when we have uh, the thing. The 
Like when we have the thing. Okay. Yeah, I work. This is adrenaline four, I think. Adrenaline four. Like I'm scared. We won't have enough value. Uh, nice to look forward to dude. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, perfect here. Triss. Location? They played their Contarella, so... I don't think they have... I don't think they have anything. Golden Necker again? Uh, okay. Um. Can't really share you. I think we're gonna play the Gaita next. Um, actually, maybe no. It'd be a shame if they were to have. Lady Aileron, movie, please. And we're gonna move all this, and then we'll play Gaita. I think that's the plan. Oh my god, it's actually him! <laughs> I thought about like, oh, is this, is this actually Dawson Casual Gamer? I actually called it. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, right, let me say GG to him. Um, Alright, I'm gonna say it after, uh, on the main menu. You guys won't see it, don't worry. Uh, but yeah, GG to this guy. <laughs> very creative, Zach. Like, um, yeah, very scary. But anyway, <laughs> let's move on to the next game. Quick heads up, before I start the video, I just want to let you guys know right now I'm holding a giveaway. Starting at 500 subscribers, for every 100 subscribers, I'll be giving away 10 US dollars or less worth of Gwen Fanaties to a random winner. At, so that means it's at least one board or one leader skin or two faction packs. For you to participate, you only need to become a public subscriber, which you can do by smashing that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, you need to unprivate your subscription list so that I know you are one of my subscriber. And the next step is, you need to comment on my videos about anything. If you give feedback or any video ideas, and the more you comment on my videos, you'll be getting bonus points. That means slightly increased odd at winning the giveaway. The giveaway lasts from 12th of July until the 17th of August 2022, and the giveaway event will end regardless whether we hit 1k subscribers or not. So you'd better tell your friends to subscribe, or the event will be over before you know it. That's it for the info, let's move on with the video. Alright, and now we're up against Kellyngay. Dude, where's my elf matchup? Come on, man, give me my elf matchup. Uh, come on, man, come on. But I guess Shiryu's can dig it. It could destroy like 6 power units, 5 power units. Hmm, I don't want two of you. Another great hand, oh my goodness. Um, I don't think I want Shiru in my hand though. Hmm. Okay, this might be good. 
I guess I kind of want to save set catch with your mentor for like a long round. I don't think we need to play the Saskia commander. Um, most of the time, Blaze of Glory simply wants to um, play their carryover in round one. They play their four provision warrior, they play their Highland Warlords, so should be fine. Without using um, Saskia here, we should all we should like win the round. Should be good. Should be good. Ooh, lucky shot. Let's go. Pass. No. Who needs... Why play Saskia Commander when I can just save it? Oh, I feel so good. We don't commit anything here. We didn't commit anything at all. Dude. Okay, so do we go to a long round or do we go... I don't think... I think it's a mistake to go to a long round. I like bleeding people, dude. That's just my style. Um, This is our only elves, our only bronze elves in the deck. So I believe I don't really want to... And that is our only <laughs> try it in the deck. Uh, only romance, please. Okay, that's fine. I kind of don't want to mulligan away here because we might find value this round. Six power. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I think play the Saber Tooth Tiger in the melee row. Yeah. We don't have Gaithen. So I'm, I'm leaning towards playing on the range row. Because we don't have Gaithen, right? But I mean, I killed stack this stack front row. Well, we might get this on the front row. I don't know. We might boost Shiru by three. Uh, melee or range? Melee. We might boost Shiru by three, so this gets to a five power, right? That's really not good. That's not really ideal. That's not really what we want. And I think I'm gonna play the Cat Witcher first into the Saskia Commander. Alright, we can just double the Shiru, right? They don't have any 4 power, uh, 4 provision unit. Yeah, I work for the I want to play this first so we don't um, pull the Cat Witcher Mentor. Right, right. No! Oh, it's a Bjorn deck. Okay. We have a pass here. So if we pass and go to a long round, they won't have... Wait, this needs pirates. Oh, this one is pirate. This one is also pirate. Nine cards, round three. We have Gigni. We have Shiru. Well, I mean, we're out of Saskia and Sabertooth Tiger. Hmm. Might get a dwarf and salt sentry. Enjoy. 
just doing my bit for the revolution. I'll get it done. Oh no. My Melva. Now I can't use her as removal anymore. That's not good. Very corpses. You don't fall to the crabs but they still live. <laughs> um, we don't have any elf right now. So we have a chance on getting the Blathana Sentry or the Pyrotechnician. So we can kill the Bjorn. Five here. Um. Whoa. Okay. Highlight, dude. I, I figured it out. Okay. We can. We're gonna kill the Saskia, but we don't care. Look at this. Hey! Oh! 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 Crushing threat value! <laughs> Crushing threat value! Oh! <laughs> it's fine, whatever. Wow! Ford wipe! What <laughs> um what now? Uh uh <laughs> Um Are we just done here? Are we like done? Donezo? Do I play Ethereal? I don't know. I, I play Man, this endless voyage card is actually really good. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know. We, 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 we did our highlight. Wait. You're fine with one? I'm passing here. I'm not playing my Gigni, bro. Okay, Blood Eagle. We can't kind of go unitless. I mean, we don't have any leader, but. Let's hope they don't draw their iced. So far, they haven't played any golds. So they have like a lot of golds in their um, deck. One of them might be iced in here, in their hand. Might be Fuxia, might be iced. But I don't think they're gonna have the, enough provision for Fuxia. It's gonna be Herald. Yeah, into the um, Helen one day. Oh, Helen Warlord wasn't enough. My bad. 
Well, they're gonna have a loss, eh? Uh, we're gonna have a say, so we might get some value with Gigni. And um, the rest of our hands are like actually Garbo. Um, yeah, sure. This hand looks fine, clueless. This hand looks fine, clueless. Did we look dead? You know what dead means? I mean, dead. So they're gonna have secured all, right? They're gonna have secured all. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> what am I playing around here? Is this devotion? This looks like devotion. Um. If they have blood eagle, is it actually wise to just discard all of our units? I think I'm gonna discard one. They might not have iced. I'm just saying. Behold the good ass's wrath! We're gonna discard another one. <laughs> I look dead. I look dead. But we got the highlight, so it doesn't it, it doesn't matter. Is it Blood Eagle? Got a stunning blow. So last card should be Blood Eagle. If last if this last card is Blood Eagle, then I should discard the Gigni because it's not doing anything. And we're gonna lose either way. Is that more card? Not more card. Man, where are my points? Where's my leader ability? Whatever, oh, man. I, I I made a highlight. That's all I need. I don't care. I I don't know, dude. I made a highlight. What do you want from me? We're not hitting any elves. Oh, dear Kobe, I met this guy like a couple of days ago. But yeah, let's move on to the next game. All right, give me elf matchup, please. Elf matchup, please. Okay. Stockpile. Okay. Stockpile. <sighs> okay. One good thing is they're gonna stack um, on their back row, range row. So crushing trap is gonna get a frick ton of value, which is really nice. We have the Saskia commander. This hand looks amazing. Look at one cat with your saboteur though. I don't know, this hand looks amazing. I can just slam Saskia here. I don't want double though. Eh, I don't know. Um, they can boiling oil, but we can just use crystal skull, so this should be fine. I, no one. I don't want them boiling oil this. That will be pretty awkward. Don't want that. Thank you. 
Wow, really? That's your plan? Four... So if I pass here, we're gonna go to a long round. Odds are I'm gonna get the Dole Bluff on a sentry into Dread Metron. I kind of want to place one more engines in the board. And then I'm gonna play the Crushing Trap, and then they're just it's just checkmate, right? Yeah, yeah I think that's the plan. Checkmate. Checkmate, buddy. You don't play any more card. Okay. You play more card, I see. Bye bye. You play more card, I see. Bye bye. This clown, man. Wait. Oh, look at this dude. Playing around boiling oil. Wait, they have boiling oil. They actually have boiling oil. Oh my god. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> um, you look kind of not alive, dude. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but... One liter charge. Two liter charge. Three liter charge. Three liter charge. Three liter charge. Three liter charge. Yay! Clap, clap. They're down a card. They don't have liter. Pog. Oh, Mutai generator value, guys. Wow, oh, Pog. Mutai generator value. Oh, amazing. Amazing, dude. Cool. Congratulations! 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 A congratulation! It's a celebration! Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, this one is perfect. Um. Actually, I kind of wanna. Okay. So, what's our practice play? It's always the Sabertooth Tiger. I think I'm just gonna use Oniromancy onto the Pyrotechnician. Push! Bleed me! Bleed! Let's go! No? No bleed? Man, you're no fun. You know that? No fun. Uh oh. Alright, no other charge. This clown, man. All of these clowns. Ah. So we have guaranteed access to Shiru, which is really good for us. And yeah, this hand is looking amazing. Um, this double crashing trap, man. Oh my god. I think I'm good with this. Oh no, it's over to Stiger. What am I gonna do? Oh, siege. Very scary. Oh, I'm scared. Are you fucking kidding me? Catnip instead of crowns? I should have mulliganed away the Gigni, I think. Keeping the Gigni here was kind of greedy. 
pass on every tenth ride. One more feather and we're done. Oh. So that's how it works. I don't know. I don't know. This time this game looks over. Don't you think so? I think so. This game, this game looks over, right? Right? I'll have them killed for less. Um I can snipe this with double durability. I kind of want to use Shiro, by the way. I really kind of want to Shiro, but I think I'm gonna be. F I'm, I'm kind of forced to play Atrial here. Yeah, I'm gonna play Atrial. No hero highlight, guys. I'm sorry. There won't be any hero highlight. My bad, guys. I mean, we have Gigni highlight, so you know, bear with me, guys. We have we have Gigni highlight. That's fine, right? That's fine, right? Gigni highlight. You like Gigni, right? No, Gigni, boo. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, filthy clown player! Get out of here! Poopy poof! Poopy poopy poof! Dude, if we lose this, it's gonna be kind of funny, right? It's gonna be kind of funny. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but it's kind of funny. What if we lose this one? Hmm. That's kind of funny. Like, what if, right? I lost this one. Hand assault? Why? There's no reason to do that. There's absolutely no reason to do that. I don't know, it's kinda of funny, right? I don't know, maybe it's just me. I mean it's just me. Wow. In this little pug. Why don't you put it here? Give him gun into extra points. Yeah. Hit the ones. The ones are gonna die. No? Am I losing value with hitting this? I don't think so, right? No, I'm I'm getting more don't value by hitting this. Me. Take care of myself. <laughs> oh, look at this. Superior tap trap gameplay. Woo! 
Double AC! Oh, you spend all your leader ability in round one. Pog. That's how you win games, guys. Play around the boiling oil. Uh, playing around the boiling oil in round one was actually really... Like, people usually don't run boiling oil. Like, the officialist doesn't run boiling oil, but I played around it, played around it anyway. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. Beam me. Beam the audit. Uh, anyways, it's getting late. Um, we had a lot of fun. Sadly, no elves on later tonight. Like, what the heck is happening? That I swear, when I played Skelly Gay, everyone was playing elf. No one plays elf. Um, anyway, I had a lot of fun. They got some highlights, some good match, some win, some loss. Pretty, pretty chill night, I would say. Um, deck is deck looks pretty solid. It doesn't. I don't think it has enough points to go um, in the long run. The points comes from the cat with your mentor only. And you know, usually. Uh, I, don't I don't know, you only have like three of them in the, in your deck and uh, it, it doesn't look that very good. But anyway, this deck has a lot of control with Sahil, uh, with Siru and Gigni. Has a lot of points with the movement package. Um, I really like playing it. I felt pretty nice. But yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for the video tonight. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know what you think down in the comment section below about the video. And as always, I appreciate you guys so much for sticking until the end of the video. Peace. Bye-bye.